Pac-10 hoops on the air from Seattle, Washington, where the dog pack today is already in fine form as they welcome in the Oregon State Beavers here to Seattle, where Isaiah Thomas and the Washington Huskies are off to an outstanding start, 11 and 3 overall on the year, 3 and 0 in the Pac-10. They have won 10 straight now in the Pac-10, carried over from last year's regular season. Of course, the tournament when they really burst upon the scene. And looking for a school record with a victory here this afternoon against Oregon State. Washington coming off an 18 point whipping of the Beavers here on Thursday. Welcome in everybody along with Lenny Wilkins Kevin Calabro on hand on Thursday. We got the news that Abdul Gaddy had torn his anterior cruciate ligament that was back last Tuesday and they said that he would be out for the rest of the year. So the question was what would Romar do Lorenzo Romar the head coach of Washington at guard and he played his senior from Franklin High School Benoit Overton with Isaiah Thomas. Well he did that and he could get away with that because Benoit is a very smart heady player. He's got the experience now whether he keeps that up or not we'll have to wait and see but I I think to start it off just to let everybody know hey we're fine. We got two guys that can play the point. We can rotate them. Everything is going to be cool. And they've got some youngsters that came off the bench gangbusters. Terrence Ross, the freshman from Portland, Oregon, Lenny, 25 points. He had four steals as well. And then Scott Suggs, the junior out of Missouri, 13 points, three of five from three. Well, I tell you, both players are playing with such great poise out there. It, it, it doesn't create a dilemma for him. Ross was just knocking shots down like they were going out of style. And then Subs comes in and he starts to make shots. Scott Suggs played that defensive round of basketball as well. We thought that he might start at that two position tonight, but our understanding is that Benoit over to will once again start for the Huskies opposite Isaiah Thomas. But you can see all of the things that Suggs can do inside and outside with the basketball. Now they take on a Beaver basketball team that recently beat Arizona and Arizona State sweeping the Arizona schools for the second consecutive year. Then they went over to Pullman on Thursday and lost 84-70 uh, when Clay Thompson hit him with a big game of 29. They are led by Jared Cunningham, 6'4 sophomore, who's averaging nearly 19 points a game over the last five games. Well, you know, he's come on real strong for them. They got off to a little bit of a bumpy start earlier, Kevin, but now they're starting to right the ship a little bit. They were 2-0 and also in the Pac-10, and then they lost. They ran into a tough uh, Washington State. So we'll have to see what he does. I mean, can he pick it back up where he had it earlier? And he's going to need Haynes to really help him a little bit. Calvin Haynes is one of just three seniors on this team. 6'3", Calvin Haynes joined by the 6'4", Jared Cunningham at guard. And of course, Craig Robinson now in his third year with this Oregon State basketball team is a coach who will employ the 1-3-1 zone defense. It was very effective in the win against Arizona. This is a team also that will crash the offensive glass. 17-2 second chance point advantage in the win over Arizona, which is big because Arizona's got some bigs up front led by Derek Williams. Well, they really do. And, and they're like the Huskies. The Huskies are long, see? So uh, you got to keep this team off the boards. If not, all of a sudden they're in that game. And uh, I, I think that Craig Robinson has done a great job in building their confidence and letting them know hey we got to go after the ball we can play great zone but we better rebound in the zone. We'll meet Craig Robinson and the Oregon State Beavers and Lorenzo Romar and the Washington Huskies when the tip follows next here on FSN. set to play the Oregon State Beavers first meeting of the year between these two clubs and the fourth Pac-10 game for each of these teams. Oregon State stands two and one Lorenzo Romar the Washington Huskies three and oh in Pac-10 play with a road sweep of the Southern California schools last week. Lorenzo 13 and four all time against Oregon State. They've won the last four meetings close games last year against Oregon State. Greg Robinson is the coach of the Oregon State Beavers now in his third year coming off an eight and ten Pac-10 record last year which put him fifth overall in the conference Ivy League grad of Princeton class of 1983 and yes he is Michelle Obama's brother and the president's brother in law just to clear that up I'm sure you've heard that story he's one of the really gregarious fine young bright coaches in the Pac-10 and in college basketball 
Take a look at the lineups. Angus Brandt, Omari Johnson, Devon Collier, Jared Cunningham, and Calvin Hayes for Oregon State. Washington will have Aziz Njai in the middle, flanked by Matthew Bryan Amening, Pac-10 Player of the Week last week, Justin Holliday, Benoit Overton, and Isaiah Thomas. The officials here tonight in Seattle, Chris Rastatter, Michael Irving, and Bruce Hicks. Lenny, what can we expect to see early, you suppose, here from Oregon State on the road? A 1-3-1 team that plays a lot of zone. They'll press your full court as well. Well, I, I think you're going to see that zone because uh, they have a lot of confidence in that 1-3-1, and it almost can match up to a man-to-man. -man. So you're going to see that real early. They, they're going to try and be patient. Uh, I don't know that they'll fast break a lot, but I think that if the break is there, they'll take it. If not, you're going to see a half-court game. Tip one by Washington. The open up of the goal. Trammed in purple and white. Here is Overton. Getting his second start of the year. Coming off the screen inside the three-point arc, and he nails a long jump shot. Two-nothing Washington. And, that, and that's where I think the 1-3-1 one, one has a weakness because if the middle guy steps up and sets a screen, you come off, there's no one to pick up right away. He's got to step out. Cunningham directing the flow. Cunningham hard slash into the lane off balance. A runner over Vinoy Overton won't go. Matthew Bryan Amining with a rebound. Overton will take over. Overton has the defensive assignment on the 6 4 Cunningham here early. Thomas is met by Calvin Haynes, one of three seniors on this club. Matthew Bryan Amining with a step back. Aziz Enjai keeps it alive. Angus Brandt will run it down for the Beavers. Devon Collier takes a look in deep. Aziz Enjai getting the start with Matthew Bryan Amining. Fifth consecutive start for both of those in combination. Angus Brandt hangs a left handed hook up and in to tie it at two. Uh, that's a nice little turnaround move there. He started them one way, came back to the middle, and made a little jump hook shot look easy. Grant the Australian. Here's Holiday for three. Cunningham runs down the rebound. Oregon State a good rebounding team. They're very active on the offensive glass in particular. Seven offensive rebounds in the win against Arizona. And a 17-2 second chance point advantage on that play. You can see how patient they are, Kevin. They're, they're, they're not going to take a quick shot. They're going to look to see if they can get a wide open look like that. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and right now, they're starting to feel pretty good. Angus Brandon, good form running. Knocks down the three. And so Oregon State comes out on top. And here is Holiday triggering for three. Johnson follows the ball, keeps it alive to Haynes. In the front court to Cunningham. Trying to slant in, contact made as Isaiah Thomas attempted to set his feet, didn't in time, and the foul on Thomas. Well, they're real patient, and, and you're going to see that. And, and watch Brand. Right there, he catches the ball, he's squared up to the basket. He had his feet set already, so it made the shot look a little easier. Non shooting foul, Oregon State will bring it in bounds. Calvin Haynes got into the air and got trapped in the air. And a jump ball on the alternate possession. Well, one official is going to defer to the other. No, it is called a held ball. I thought for a moment they were going to go back and call that a personal foul. Oregon State will take it. Grant from Sydney, Australia. Look at he's got a break into the lane. Beats the collier, jumbled the ball, got off a tough attempt. Matthew Bryan Amining the rebound and Bullard Overton on the run. He eludes the first line of defense. Nice pass to Aziz Enjai. Block. Recovered. And a foul call on the shot by Enjai. I think that's the thing you're going to see with the Huskies. They've got to push it. You know, they're not going to let them get set back in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. So if they can catch them in transition, they've got a real advantage. Aziz Enjai. Quite a story coming to this Husky program, averaging 17 minutes for contest and the five rebounds. Always a threat to block a shot. The free throw line has pretty good technique. Stay tuned for more college basketball here on FSN. West Coast Conference action is heating up as Gonzaga will play host to the Red Hot Portland Pilots, followed by the Oregon Ducks taking on the Washington State Cougars in Pac-10 competition. Stick around, it's all still to come here on FSN and FSN HD. Along with the Hall of Famer Lenny Wilkins, Kevin Calabro on hand here in Seattle. And the Oregon State Beavers lead the Huskies 5-3.
Cunningham up the floor, high dribble, crossing over. It looked like Oliver can, may have tripped him from behind. Very possibly Matthew Brian Amining with the trip. They're going to call the foul on Brian Amining. Well, we get a chance to see that. And right there, he's penetrating, and, and Matthew is trying to be wide in that situation, and that's why he tripped over his foot. for three buries the second three-pointer of the afternoon for Oregon State and the Beavers off to a good start at 8-3. See the trap coming on the double team and the ball tipped free. Brant recovers it on the floor and immediately calls a timeout. Good play, says Craig Robinson. Look at Robinson coming out there to acknowledge Brandt and a heads-up play. Well, he's got them off to a good start. Right now, they're hustling. Loose balls, they dive on the floor for it. And rather than make a tough pass out of that, he, he smartly calls the timeout. I mean, right here, there's great anticipation. You see they're ready for the zone. They're set there. And as the players come down, now Vinoy is right in the middle. He's got to make a decision. He's almost surrounded by three guys. The length. Steals the ball, and then Grant gets right on the floor. Captain calls timeout. Now, you should know about Oregon State. They are number one in the nation in steals per ball game at 11 point due. They really bother you. They wear you down with that 1 3 1, the other assorted zones. And they are led by Jared Cunningham, who is fourth in the country at 3.29 steals per ball game. Well, when you got that kind of length and you're playing a 1-3-1, one, one, you can get the little guy out top, and then those long guys across the middle, all of a sudden the passing lanes close down. Amari Johnson, along with Calvin Haynes, both seniors, they have seen the very lean times in this Oregon State program. Third year for Craig Robinson is starting to bring this program back. Haynes drives in and kicks. Little hook in traffic that won't go. Collier the rebound rejected by Aziz Enjai, but Collier gets it back. Steps to the end line and is tripped up in a whistle and a foul. So on Aziz Enjai down on the baseline. Oregon State very active on the offensive glass. Well, Enjai, you know, the, the, he comes over, he's going to give some help. Right here, you're going to see him. He's right there, makes a real fine block, but what happens, he gets caught on the outside. Jared Cunningham watched closely by the Overton. Amari Johnson back to Cunningham and look at three and banked it in. He'll take it. I didn't hear Paul Glass, but <laughs> it sure looked good. 11 3 count. Now they come to trap Matthew Ryan Amity. He'll hook pass cross court to Holiday. Now Overton. Three players swarm. Skip pass to Thomas. Three players trap him. Cross court it comes to Matthew Ryan Amity. Get past 13 to shoot to Overton into the lane to Thomas straightaway three. Got it. Boy, that was the heart out of after all that effort on the defensive end. It really was a lot of effort on the defensive end, but credit Vinoy Overton for reading that situation. He made a great pass out to Isaiah Thomas on the top. Now Oregon State, I find it hard to believe, will be able to sustain that kind of defensive fervor, Lenny. They'll pick their spots with that. The right side Collier inside to Brant, the reverse, hacked and fouled by Holiday. Washington uh, is going to quickly put the Beavers at the free throw line. That is the third team foul on the Huskies here early with a timeout call on the floor. Opening five minutes, Beavers of Oregon State leading the Huskies 11-6 from Seattle on FSN. Oregon State on top by five with Lenny Wilkins, Kevin Calabro on hand. Lenny, what about breaking this Oregon State zone? You know it's coming. Well, you know it's going to come, but what's happening right now is that they added a little wrinkle there where you got three guys almost trapping one. So they forced the Huskies to get into a hurry, and then they got to take a tough shot. But a great pass by Benoit Overton to save today because Isaiah knocks it down. I don't know if they can keep up that no. pressure but you know when you're feeling good and you're scoring you feel you feel like you could do it all day we'll see what happens as the game goes on you're 19 years old it's a 40 minute <laughs> game yeah who knows maybe Oregon State has the staying power they have a, a decent bench they get to go to their bench as Angus Brandt steps up at the free throw line and misses this one Angus Brandt from Sydney Australia 6'10, 240. One. Sophomore this year. Joe Burton will step in in a moment for Oregon State. He is 6'7 and 280. 
Beavers have decent size up front. Now here comes Burton. He's more of a threat to score in the low post than is Angus Brandt. And Angus now goes to the bench. Huskies bring it up, trailing here by a half dozen. Again, Oregon State in the 1 3 1 zone with Amari Johnson up top at the point. It's Thomas for three. Recovered by Benoit Overton and lay it in. Beautiful play. Uh, great play, and that's the thing that's most difficult about being in the zone is the rebound. You really have to focus because you're chasing the ball. Huskies have won 10 straight Pac-10 games. A win here this afternoon, and they will break their school record for consecutive Pac-10 victories. Set by the 0405 team inside Cunningham turn around jump shot they made it tough off the mark tipped out of bounds and last touch by the Beavers. Now one of the things you uh, see here, Benoit makes a real good pass. He's the one guy that will look to penetrate, and then he gets his own rebound back mm. after helping out, making a great pass, get the rebound, lay it in. He, you know, he's a veteran player, a smart player, and you can understand why Coach Romar wants him on the floor. Romar goes to his bench now with Scott Suggs and Thomas working at guards. Terrence Ross is on the floor along with Darnell Camp and Matthew Bryan Ammon. This is Thomas into the lane, to the glass. That was way too easy. And, and, and that's the chink in the 1-3-1 one, one because they're really chasing the ball. And when you get everybody over there on the corner, if you make a quick swing, all of a sudden the middle is wide open. Beavers by two. Washington stays in there man-to-man. -man. They'll play a little bit of zone, not much. Here's Haynes outside for three misses. A rebound taken off the floor by Terrence Ross. Coming off a career high, 25 points. Laser pass, Thomas, Matthew, Brian, Amity, and the payoff. A big punch at the rim. I tell you, that, that, that's where he has improved so much. I, I, he sees the floor so well. Great pass. I mean, all he had to do was catch the ball and lay it in. 6-0 run by the Huskies to tie to 12. Now the Huskies extend the defense. Joe Burton nearly dribbled it away. Just did find Haynes. Caught in the air. He threw it into the first row of the purple clad Husky fans. Now that whole play was uh, created by uh, Brian Amanti because, you know, he really went at it. They thought he was going to get it. But here you see that the Huskies get out on the break. And look at the laser pass <laughs> right on the dime. Suggs in the middle of that zone. Veers outside to Terrence Ross. One on one, he takes on Roberto Nelson and walked with the basketball. So Ross, in his haste to get to the rim, walks with it. Lamont Starks will step in for Oregon State. 5A freshman at a Whitney High School in Chicago, Illinois. And Roberto Nelson is in as well. At Santa Barbara High School, redshirt freshman, measures 6 3. Kevin McShane, 6'9", junior from Portland, and is as well for Oregon State. This is Starks in a 12-12 ball game. Nearly given away by Collier. Starks with eight to shoot. Will pops up for three, and he banked it in. So, a couple of three-pointers for Oregon State. Off glass here early. And they rule this a two-point field goal. Yeah, I think they, they're playing off the glass a little bit, Kevin. Two shots from way deep outside off the backboard. Well, the officials are going to survey this and make sure that uh, he was indeed over that line. Hard to tell from that angle. But we do know that that ball landed in the box and was banked in straight away by Ahmad Starks. They'll review that. Well, the, the instant replay is always so good because you can see the angles that we couldn't see from there. But the side official is the one who could see whether he was on the line or not. And they're hoping that they get a look on the monitor. Chris Rastatter along with Michael Irving and a Bruce Hicks. Our officials here this afternoon in Seattle take a look again. Watch the foot. But Stark sure looks like it was right there on that line. Yeah, it looks like his toe was right there when you look at it, and if it is, it's a two-pointer. Early shooting numbers, Oregon State is 5 of 12. They've hit 4 of 5 from 3. And Washington 5 of 9 from the field here early. They're going to rule that a two-point bucket. 
for the Beavers and it puts them back in the lead at 14 12. Good a hand crowd on hand here at Evanson Pavilion. 3:30 start this afternoon in Seattle. NFL playoff football at Westfield kicked off at 1:30. Seahawks. And the Saints. That's Ross trying to throw it, but off rim bounces out. Pass inside. Johnson may have walked. They're going to call a blocking foul, however. Washington bench wanted a walk. Sure looked like he took steps getting to the rim, but Johnson is fouled in any event. The officials rule he'll shoot two. Yeah, well, I, I think that's a good call. I, I thought that uh, the Husky player wasn't there quite in time. Suggs with a foul. That's his first 15 foul on Washington. And Amari Johnson at the line. Well, this could be an Achilles heel for Oregon State because if you're getting to the line a lot, you, you got to make three throws. You got to put them down. Uh, it, it will put you out of the game quick. Well, he missed them both, but McShane right there at the rim. McShane with the recovery and another possession. This is Roberto Nelson off the screen. The step back fader off back rim. Rebound tipped up right there to McShane. He'll lay it in. The one thing Oregon State does particularly well, Lenny, is they keep that ball alive in the window. Yeah, they stay after it. They, they're not looking. They, they, they're, they're blocking people out and they're moving to the ball every time. Beavers by four. Again, it, they drop back in the zone. Here's Gant. Out to Suggs. Hesitates, but he let the three go. Missed it. Soaring into the rebound. Darnell Gant. Foul as he went up. He'll shoot two. Timeout called on the court. The number 23 ranked Washington Huskies trailing the Beavers of Oregon State 16 12. Back after this on FSN. Oregon State on top of Washington 16 to 12 and so far Lenny Oregon State's been able to knock in some threes. Yeah that's three, three out of four. I mean right there you see Brent he knocks one down. Then the next guy you look over there Calvin Haynes makes one and then uh, cutting him. So if you get those three guys all of a sudden they're starting to look on the outside three out of four tells you hey I got a pretty high percentage. Maybe I can make a few more. They're shooting 43 percent from the field overall. Are the Beavers Washington here at home 45 percent Darnell Gant at the line the first of two young man out of Los Angeles California Darnell Gant started last year at center for the sweet 16 bound Husky team he rolled in the free throw coming off the bench invaluable effort from him off the bench. 16-14 score. Huskies are spending a little more pressure on defense now. They're picking them up a little sooner, making them use the clock, making them put the ball on the floor, and that's when you make mistakes. Nelson Smooth, freshman, drives into the lane, double pumps in the air, and a shot block, getting a piece of it. Terrence Ross. Quickly out to Matthew Bryan Abney. Huskies running, trailing for three is over to Gant deflects it out of bounds, Oregon State ball. <laughs> McShane will depart. In comes Lathan Wallace, the 6'3 senior out of Jefferson High School in Portland. Gant and McShane had some words as they both were up after that rebound. Well, the Huskies got some real size in there now. That guy is back, and plus Gant, he's got two long guys across the back there. Oregon State brings Joe Burton with Amari Johnson to the front court. This is Burton up top. Out to Starks, and he fires the three and hits the three. Lenny, the threes continue to fall for a team that just shoots 30% from three point range. <laughs> I didn't see that the last game they played against Washington State. Where was that? <laughs> Burton with a rebound. Here come the Beavers again. Starks up the floor to Burton, crossing over into the lane. This kick out anticipated, stolen by Ross. Nearly given away. 
finds a man going on Overton into the air. Juggled the ball, came down off of Overton and was standing out of bounds, and it will be Oregon State basketball. That was a, a calamity of errors that <laughs> tripped down the floor for the Huskies. Yeah, well, from one end to the other, you take a look right there. They almost lose the ball, finally get it to Benoit. He loses the ball, and then it goes off of Enjai. So it was, it was a tough time down the floor. Five point Oregon State lead as Amon starts, drives into the lane. Trying to get a foul, won't. Overton with a rebound, Starks reaches in, and a foul on Starks. Actually, what a bad foul there to give. It's it kind of slowed the progress of Washington State and gives him a dead ball situation again. Angus Brent now on the floor for Joe Burton, gives him some size up front defensively. And not a very good foul by Starks, but at the same time, it slows the Huskies down and takes them out of whatever up tempo game they had. Huskies now with it. Holiday. C.J. Wilcox on the floor. Good to see him again. He's in uh, trouble with a staff infection that's limited his minutes over the last couple of days. Wilcox very smooth. Look at the fake, the one dribble adjustment, the jumper missed it because he's edge on the rebound. Breaks free and two smaller players. Overton into the lane for Washington. Out to Holiday, raising to three. Oh. Oregon State ball, Amari Johnson with a rebound. Now the, the Huskies seem just a little out of tempo right now. And I and I think it's basically because of the way Oregon's playing it. So they need to get their rhythm back. They need to get their, their own pace going so that they can score. Starts with 18 to shoot. A straightaway three won't go. As he's in drive the rebound for Washington. Wilcox, good ball movement by Washington. Holiday drops it over as he's in jump. Turns, backs, bumps, missed the rebound, tipped up and in. Well done, Justin Holiday. Yeah, that, that's a good play there because you get the ball in the middle on the inside, everybody's collapsing, then you have an opportunity to go to the basket and get a good uh, offensive putback. Beavers of Oregon State, by three with possession. Washington extends their defense to midcourt. Johnson saves it to Roberto Nelson. No change of possession. 15 to shoot for the Beavers. Roberto. Starks passes up a three. Brant will take a three. Missing. Nelson shoved Wilcox aside. That's a foul. And Washington State, or Washington will take it back. Well, I tell you, uh, Kevin, I like the way they're playing the Huskies. I think you got to pressure up on them. And right there, you see the shot. Holiday follows, gets a nice tip, you know, and he makes himself effective. Some way or another on the court, he's going to be there. So that's a nice little play there by Holiday. Holiday, the senior, really has taken his game up a notch in the offensive game. There's so many scores on his team. Holiday, not a selfish player at all, trying to enter there to his end job and probably could make a case for him just squaring up and firing off a 15 footer there. Right? Well, he really should have there. And that's been a little bit unselfish. But he turned and he saw end But the defense was way back on him. All he had to do was take one dribble and he could have almost laid it in. Seven for 19 shooting for Oregon State. Washington six of 18. Breaking into the lane is Jared Cunningham. Now that's what he can do. He is a razor. Just knifing into lanes and gaps where you just, uh, it doesn't appear to be any kind of space lane. He's able to angle in there. Well, he's not very big either, but uh, you're right, Kevin. He got through there and Enjai didn't even know where he was. He just by him so quick. 7.45 to play here in the first half from Washington, where Oregon State leads the Washington Huskies 21-16 on FSN. All right, Angie, uh, 7.46 left to play here in Seattle in the first half. Beavers 21, Huskies 16 already this afternoon. California has beat Arizona State. 65 61 a win for the Cal Bears and up on the Pac-10 scoreboard you have Washington leading the group at three and zero. Oh. Arizona State with a loss one and three and Cal goes to one and two. Overton nice movement without the ball setting up Wilcox for three. Nope. And there's Holiday again 
With an offensive rebound and the putback for a bucket. Well, that's where it's going to take. It's going to take patience by the Huskies. They've got to move the ball in, out, penetrate, kick it out, and then they'll get some really good opportunities, and they'll be in great position to rebound as well because the zones are always tough to rebound against. Eight second chance points for Washington here this afternoon. The pole within three. Angus Brandt triggering, blocked by Matthew Bryan Avenue, recovered by an alert Jared Cunningham. Fouled as he went out. This will be the seventh team foul on Washington, and Cunningham will shoot two. Well, that was a good save by Cunningham because uh, Brandt had no reason to take that shot. The defense was all over him. He just not, could not get it off. And he might have been worried about the clock, but a uh, great save by Cunningham under the basket. Cunningham tied a school record 34 consecutive free throws made. A record that had stood since 1967. He tied it. And then had hit, I believe it was eight consecutive against Arizona before he missed. The crowd was very aware of the record and aware that he missed because there was a long, deep sigh by the crowd that he missed it. 23 18. Five-point lead for Oregon State. Washington gets busy with Matthew Ryan. Honoring himself into the lane and throwing up that little half hook off the window. Uh, that was an unbelievable play. When you look at that, you see Benoit. He's going. He has nowhere to go. He goes up ill advised, but catches the defense looking at him. Makes a great pass to uh, Brian Manning, and he, he has a chance for a three point opportunity. Matthew averaging 17 points per ball game with just under nine rebounds a contest. And of course was the Pac-10 player of the week last week shooting 54 percent in the wins against UCLA and USC. Well, that's a big three point play by Brian Manning and, and if he continues that I, I think he, he might have a chance to be Pac player of, of, of the week again. Cunningham stumbled on that play. Came up grimacing. Johnson enters to Burton. Turns to the glass, laid it in. Excellent pass by Johnson. Well, he had great position too, Kevin. You know, he used his body extremely well and held off Matthew so he couldn't get to him. Overton operating. Pops to cross court. Isaiah Thomas. Johnson got a hand on it. Recovered by Haynes. The open man is Cunningham right at the glass. He'll lay it in. Well, right now, Oregon State seems to be a little bit quicker out there. They're moving that ball real well, and, and they're hanging in this game. And that's not something the Huskies want to let happen. Six-point Oregon State lead, but Isaiah Thomas cuts into it quickly with a well-aimed three-pointer. See, this is where it happens with Oregon. The game helps sometimes, Kevin, because when you're playing against the zone, you got someone else to move the ball. He can be on the receiving end. Burton inside to Johnson, but I Overton soars over to knock it away. Give Overton a block. Thomas in traffic is fouled. The great play by Isaiah Thomas, you know, pushing the ball, you catch the defense running with their backs turned, you use them, you know, and go after it. Benoit on the other end, look at the block that he makes. I mean, <laughs> great anticipation on his part. First team all defense packed in last year of Illinois Overton. And it'll be interesting to see if Lorenzo will stay with this guard combination of Benoit Overton and Isaiah Thomas. They are strangers, obviously. They have started uh, eight games last year together. Overton was a starter his freshman year. Of course, Isaiah was not here at the time. Uh, Overton started 26 games his freshman year before coming off the bench full time late the season last year. And really brings you that defensive presence off the bench as well as playmaking ability. His sixth all time in the school and assist total. And right now he's trying to find Cunningham who comes off the screen looking to pack it. Met by Holiday who blocks the shot. Burton came up with it, deflected to Collier into the lane. He is fouled. What a great defensive player by Holiday. I mean, he was right there to give the help when needed. I mean, you take a look at this young man. He's long, and, and he seems to anticipate well. Right there, the penetration, and he catches it right at the top. There's another young 
fellow who was on that first team Pac-10 defense, Justin Holiday. McShane will step in and Burton will head back to the bench. Greg Robinson now his third year at Oregon State coming over from Brown University in Providence Rhode Island part of the Ivy League Collier the left hander hits the Beavers maintain the lead of four with 514 to play in the first half. Is there any a 2-3 zone that Oregon State's dropped into now? Yes, yes, they're in a 2-3 now, and that allows them to have a, a fence across the back of the court. Gant has the rebound taken away. Lead pass Cunningham to the glass with a finger roll finish. Six-point lead for Oregon State. Beavers playing well with 448 left in the first half. Thomas for three. Got another. Isaiah Thomas coming off a cracker Jack Eden. Just outstanding against Oregon. That's 12 points in this one. Four or five from the field. Three or four from beyond the arc. Cunningham the pump it. Collier will raise. Throws an air ball. Terrence Ross with a rebound. Thomas strolls into another three. Collier with a rebound. Well, that was a heat check on his part. <laughs> he made that first one. He thought he could make the next one. Cunningham comes down, pulls up, jacks a three, and he hits a three-pointer. And now Oregon State, five of eight from beyond the arc. Six-point Beaver lead, 3.57 to play in the first half. to the chagrin of the crowd, Oregon State will take possession. Well, I'll tell you, anytime you're in a 2-3 zone, those are the things that are going to happen. And you need a guy like Isaiah Thomas out there because he can make shots. And this is where Benoit really helps him. Now you come down the opposite end, and Cunningham is on that wing, and he nails it. So all of a sudden, we got raining threes by both teams. <laughs> Welcome to Seattle, Washington. Pac-10 hoops. This afternoon from Heck Evanson Pavilion with the Hall of Famer Lenny Wilkins, Kevin Calabro on hand. Washington trailing Oregon State 34 28. Beaver basketball 336 left in the first half. Calvin Haynes for three with 15 to shoot, knocks down another one at Oregon State is just on fire from outside the arc. Now six of nine out there, Lenny. Well, when you're six of nine, you can't go behind screens anymore. Now you gotta either step out or challenge the guy because they're making too many and they're starting to feel too comfortable out there. Beavers up nine with 3.06 to play in the first half. Already this year, Oregon State's registered a big win against Arizona. That was last week in the opening weekend of half death row. Matthew Bryan and a foul down the low. Shoots and scores and is fouled. Well, I tell you, you know, and that's the thing that can happen when you got great talent on the floor. You're going to see Haynes come now, and right here, they go below the screen, step out half-heartedly, but he's wide open, has a good look. And then when you come down the court, the other end, Isaiah creates. He gets in to the paint, gets into the lane, he makes a nice pass to Brian O'Manning, and now another three-point opportunity. Brian Ammoning eight points for the Huskies. Leading the way is Isaiah Thomas with 12. If you're wondering, Terrence Ross is 0 for 2 and has not yet scored, coming off a career high 25. Haynes in the air missing. Brian Ammoning back into the rebound. And Thomas, who got jolted on the way to the rack, would have counted had it gone. He'll shoot two. Well, so far, uh, Ammoning and uh, Isaiah have kept moving the Huskies. And they need them this afternoon because they're the two guys that seem to be effective against the 2 3 or the 1 3 1 zone. Greg Robinson visibly upset over there on the Oregon State bench. He immediately walked down to get Ahmad Starks ready to come back in. Thomas to the line. And Calvin Haynes will depart. Isaiah Thomas, he has been. Razor sharp today here at home. 13 points and a couple of assists for Thomas. Sure. 
And after the eighth free throw, full court pressure applied by Washington. And a drop back. Thomas will just meet the lot starts in the court. Four point Oregon State lead. 2.30 left here in the first half. Cunningham goes to work. High balls that screen, drives into the lane. Running shot, Milton, nope. McShane the rebound. Starks in deep. Bad shot with 31 to shoot. Starks just came in there firing, and Craig Robinson's off the bench again, looking back at his head, wondering why. Gant misses the three. I don't blame him for being up on that shot. Boy, that, 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 that was a tough one, especially when you got a little momentum going for yourself. He yelled at Starks, we don't need that. Starks is a freshman, he will learn. Cunningham to Amari Johnson, cutting to the ball, McShane. Had it ripped out of his hands, Matthew Bryan Amity recovers. Thomas looks at a three, he'll grab it into the lane. Starks got a piece, ball loose. Matthew Bryan Amity. Thomas open three. Only missed. Put up and in by Matthew Bryan Amity. Outstanding reaction and the foul. <laughs> Matthew's having one of those kind of games, yeah. Kevin, and, and you know, thank, thank goodness because he and Isaiah certainly have set the tone for this team. I mean, you look at there, the follow-up, gets fouled in the act of shooting, and scores the basket, has another chance for a three-point opportunity. Two of two from the line, 10 points, four rebounds for Matthew Bryan Abney. Amari Johnson with the rebound. A 7-0 run for Washington to pull here to within two at 37-35. Starts with a minute 17 left in the half. Dribbling right into pressure. Jack away coming in. Leans in going left. Nope. Rebound Matthew Bryan Adams. Looks down the floor by Scott Suggs cruising. Back court broken up by Roberto Nelson out of bounds. Well, I think that's the Achilles heel for Oregon State, get them dribbling the ball, put a little pressure on them, and then all of a sudden they start dribbling. You can't dribble through everybody. Too much time. Washington down two with a chance to try to take the lead. Oregon back in the 2-3 zone. I see them kind of stretching it out, trying to cover everybody. Wide open look. Three points, that's what we want. Sons of three, Washington had not led since 2-0, but they take the lead. 38-37 on a Suggs three-point shot. He had 13 on Thursday in the run over Oregon. And now Thomas comes over to deflect the ball out of bounds with 26 seconds remaining in the first half. Well, you gotta love that Suggs has the patience. He's, been, he's playing within himself. The ball gets swung around, he lines it up, nails it, nothing but the net. Suggs was three of five against the Ducks from three-point range. 21 seconds left in the half, and now the Beavers behind with possession. Coming in to Roberto Nelson, one or the other, will have to get off the shot. It's Nelson, the running right hander, an acrobatic play by Roberto. Here comes Washington, but on Overton. Got a great look at the buzzer. And it looks like it'll count at the buzzer. Well, and the Huskies take the lead 40 39. And I guess we know why both of those guys are out there against this type of pressure. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, Benoit grabbed it and just took off after Roberto Nelson knocked it down with five and change on the clock. Well, right there, two great plays. You know, one on each end. Both guards making their presence felt. And nobody turned the ball. They were chasing the ball. Overton just too fast for him. He found a lane and got off the shot. So Washington takes the lead, just their second here, third here of the evening at 40-39 halfway through. Recap coming next. Welcome back to Seattle, Washington. Heck Edmondson Pavilion. The 
Along with Lenny Wilkins, Kevin Calabro on hand. Washington on top of the Oregon State Beavers, 40-39. Take a look at the first half numbers. Field goal shooting, Oregon State 41%, Washington 45. Three-point shooting, Beavers 6 of 9, Washington 4 of 16. Free throw shooting, Washington 8 of 11, Oregon State 5 of 8. A 2018 rebound advantage, Oregon State. Points off turnovers, 12 for Oregon State University. Two for Washington, and that's the thing, Lenny, about Oregon State. They will break you down. They will force some turnovers. They forced five turnovers against Washington. Well, they let you get a little bit comfortable out there, and all of a sudden, you know, you find that you're in trouble. They're still hanging around, and, and no one likes to have a team hanging around. They become dangerous to start to gain confidence. So right now, the Huskies got to be patient, and they got to try and put this team away. Isaiah Thomas, outstanding in the first half, 16 points. 14 points in 16 minutes. And here's a few shots on him. There was some touch. Matthew Bryant Ammon is the other component of their offense. He has a, a dozen now in the game. Not only did he show touch that time, Kevin, he showed determination. I mean, he made a strong move. He didn't mess around with it and turn right into the basket. Cross-court pass intercepted. Vanoy read that one all the way to the glass. Start for Washington. And Oregon State better get balanced here because they're running into a buzz saw now. That's right. Before they realize that this game could be over, so they got to all of a sudden change the tempo. They got to start over again and get themselves back going. Remember that was a 12-2 run. Washington ended the first half. They have come out now with a couple of buckets here. Cunningham nearly slipped. Rejected by Aziz Enjai. But, well found by Haynes. His shot off the right. Holiday to the rebound. Uh, great defensive play by Enjai. I mean, he changed everybody's thinking on that. And he makes a real good run. He catches it. He showed good hands that time when he caught the ball and was able to make it uh, to the basket. You take a look at him down here. Watch, he comes over. And I'll tell you, he's there. Both of them get the ball. <laughs> Brian or Manning. He got a good hand on that, and, and then they get going the other way. So that's good defense by the Huskies. And then at the line. Now Joe Burton will step in for Angus Grant for Oregon State. Washington's come out with a couple of unanswered buckets here to take a five-point lead. Well, this is where Oregon State has to be real careful, Kevin, early on, because all of a sudden, if the momentum changes and it's an uphill battle for them, they'll have a long afternoon. Jared coming in, being watched by Illinois Overton. Joe Burton wide open. And a good find by Amari Johnson once they had swung the ball across the top. Somebody on the Hutsey was, was ball watching that time because that he was too wide open. Beavers again drop back in the zone. They played the 1-3-1. One, one. They'll play the 2-3. They'll pressure the times full court. Nice pass. In the back of the zone. Over to the holiday. Running along the baseline for the two-hand jam. That was a great overload by the Huskies because they caught Oregon State still in the zone. And they brought the guy from the other side around. Made a nice lob pass to the back. On the exchange, Amari Johnson had to go off his knee in the backcourt. No touch, and that's a turnover. Washington still, Washington will take it back. You take a look at this pass here. Right there, they read the situation all the way. Lenoy has his eye on his teammate the whole time. Holiday, quick inbounds to Enjai. Thomas sets his feet for three. And that was last touch by Amari Johnson out of bounds. Washington ball. Well, this is a good opportunity for the Huskies right now. They're getting the ball back. They've got a chance to start to push the game away a little bit, and they need to do that. Holiday shows, drives, and it's nearly upended and fouled. He'll shoot two. He was in the act. You know, the, the young players with the Huskies, I mean, you really got to love their poise. I mean, I, I, I look at uh, not only Holiday, but, uh, you know, uh, Ross, Suggs. 
that none of them seem to get flustered. I mean, they just play their game and they take what comes to them. And I think that's what's helping them to become good players. Good mix of uh, upperclassmen as well that lead this team, like Holiday the senior. Again, uh, you use that adjective, selfless. Full court pressure applied by Washington, and they force Oregon State into a turnover. And Oregon State wasn't ready for that. Cunningham needed some help. Collier came back, but he was in no position along the sideline to make the catch on that pass. It goes out of bounds. Yeah. You never run down the court with your back's turned. You got to pay attention to what's going on the floor. That is the onus on the players. We take a look at this here. We have a chance to see this on the replay. And right there, they're taking the ball out. Washington's up. Everybody else is back, not paying attention, and he's trying to call for help. Too late. After Brian Allen rams into his own player as he's injured, had the ball dislodged, and then Jocelyn Ford a foul called on Washington's <laughs> Justin Holiday. Well, Washington's defense, Lenny, has now forced three turnovers on Oregon State here in the second half. Oregon State committed just three in the first half, so it's a, I guess, a, a much more energized defense now for Washington that meets Oregon State here in the opening moments. 17 minutes left in the second half. Cunningham to Haynes looking for Burton in the middle. Cunningham, nice scoop shot, but could not make the proper adjustment and fouled Matthew Bryan Amening after he got the rebound. Well, that was great cover up defense by the Huskies on the back line because Lenoy kind of lost his man, but his teammates were right there. I tell you, Brian Amening, he's having a heck of a game. Team 53 left here in the second half. Over to Got to slide the ball across court, hit a leg of a beaver. Picked up by Thomas. How did he find Matthew Bryan Allen? Through that labyrinth of arms and legs. He threw a bullet in there again. Another pass by Thomas to his target, Matthew Bryan Allen. Yeah, well, see, he's dribbling with his head up. Look, he's got his head up right away. He sees the ball. He makes a great pass to Bryan Allen. And all of a sudden, we're off to the races again. Here's Cunningham coming in, averaging 19 points a game over the last five games. And 14 here this afternoon, but 14 toughers. Eight point lead for Washington. And the Beavers trying to maintain touch here, maintain some sort of contact with Washington. Tough to do turning the ball over like that. Matthew Bryan Hamling has a step on the defense to the glass. Oh, man, was that impressive as he went sprinting down the floor. Well, you got to give the big guy kudos on that one, Devin. And he anticipated the play. He stepped in, got the ball, took it all the way to the basket. Uh, I tell you, Brian. A Manning is really having some kind of game. Take a look at this right there. I mean, he's got control all the way to the hoop, even with a guy running in front of him. That's a great play. I tell you, he's having a heck of a game. Ten point spread now for Washington over Oregon State with four minutes gone by here in the second half. Defensively, the pressure has been ratcheted up by the Huskies. Well, anytime you're going to play good defense like that, you're going to force the other team into errors. And then if you're alert, like 
uh, Brian Amani. He is having a whale of a game. He's taking advantage of every miscue that Oregon State is making. Now Washington on a 20 to 4 run carried back to that run at the end of the first half. They were down nine and went on a 12 2 run to end the first half. Well, the Huskies are feeling pretty good right now. They're staying up. They're playing a little bit more pressure defense. And, and, and once the die is set, I tell you, they've made it very difficult. They're not going to quit. They're going to try and put this game away. Well, there's another strip for Washington. Overton, Holliday, mid range jump shot. Controlled by Calvin Haynes of Oregon State. The Beavers badly need a bucket. Joe Burton to the end line. Bouncing to Roberto Nelson. Well, he didn't quite know where he was going with that. A shot, pass, and then decided to take a shot and threw it out of bounds. Now, great rotation on defense by the Huskies because someone challenged the shooter, and then when he went to the basket, they slid over, got right in front of him, and made him commit. with tremendous instincts on the defensive end of the floor and he can score it on the offensive end Matthew Brian Hammond. Well we talked about him last year Kevin and always felt that this guy was just a step away from being a great player and here he shows his whole repertoire on offense as well as defense where he steps in and he acts like a guard there gets out on the fast break and just lays it over the rim. 16 points six rebounds for the Englishman. And Washington on top here by 10. Their largest lead of the afternoon over Oregon State. Oregon State led by nine before Washington went on a 12 2 run to end the first half. And they have come out in the second half with a defensive intensity that Oregon State's not been able to reply to. Toughness, triple team, Matthew Bryan, one given adjustment to the pass, bounces it up the hand. You can't stop him now. 18 and six boards. He's an eight and ten one. Yeah, it, it's become that Amining and Thomas show. Mm. <laughs> not only reaches in on Roberto Nelson in a foul. Well, this is a critical part of the game for Oregon State. Uh, they cannot get themselves further in the hole because if they do, I'll tell you, it's a long climb out, and, it, and they won't make it this afternoon. Across the middle, sweeping hook, uh -uh. rebound, Matthew Bryan Amity. He has scored the last six points for Washington. They'll give it up to Suggs for an open hook of three and transition. That was beautiful. Well, he got the rebound, brought the ball up the court, made a nice little bounce pass to Suggs in the corner, and it results in two points. That, that's just great basketball. Washington shooting 51% from the field. Jared Cunningham, ball fakes, leans in and drew the foul. Cunningham fouled by Thomas. We'll shoot two. Huskies looking to make some history. 
They can open up a Pac-10 play 4-0 for the first time since 84 when they went 6-0. They have won 10 straight Pac-10 games, tying a UW record set by the 0405 team. You know, their longest conference streak was 23 back in 53-54. Looking to break that Pac-10 winning streak of 10 straight with a win here this afternoon. Fifteen points for Cunningham. Nice looking young player. Leandro uh, High School in Oakland. Just a sophomore. Roberto Nelson, the redshirt freshman, being up on Ross. It went off of Ross and out of bounds. In case you're wondering, Ross coming off the career high of 25 points has not scored here this afternoon in limited minutes. Been the upperclassmen. That have taken the reins. A 14 point Washington lead. Oregon State ball, 13.59 to go. Burton drops steps to the end line, double beneath the rim. Trying to spike it off Suggs. Missed it. Suggs with the steal. And the kick to Thomas. Missed the shot, but a man shot there to grab it. You alert, man shot, but don't run with your back turn. Got to get back on defense, and he did. He did. <laughs> he finally turned around, but a uh, great play by Isaiah Thomas. You know, he drew everyone to him and then let Njai finish it off. Lenny Washington has not, or I should say Oregon State, has not scored a field goal since 1811. <laughs> minute drought. Aziz Njai will come out. Darnell Gant will step in. Well, you give a lot of credit to the Husky defense for that because I'll tell you, they, when they put the pressure on them starting the second half, everything turned around. Beavers trying to score something here. They've only put three on the board in the second half. They trail by 16 now. Roberto Nelson to the free throw line. Nelson highly sought after down in Santa Barbara, California. Had some personal issues with the family. His father incarcerated in prison in the state of California. Very difficult situation. His senior year, he did not transfer. He stayed there his senior year. Highly sought after. A number of people talked to him, pursued him. Craig Robinson met him and said, We didn't talk basketball at all. We talked about life. And Roberto said he was so impressed with Craig Robinson. And Sixteen point lead. Nelson goes to work. Nelson firing the long three. Nope. Rebound Matthew Bryan Ammon. Boy, he is a strong kid. I thought Matthew Bryan Ammon was going to follow the backwards on that one. <laughs> Drives himself and got that one. Look at the offensive rebound. Kick out. Thomas for three. Lost the puck. Tacked it up against. The Huskies just come at you in waves. Now someone just pushed the switch for Ross. Yeah. They clutch. He's been involved in the last two plays. But you know, like we say all the time, the guy has a lot of poise. He does not rush or pressure himself into doing bad things. Cunningham will get a bucket. Washington thought he'd been fouled out on the court. They're going to say, no, nope, count the bucket, he'll shoot. <laughs> but right here, you're going to see, right there, you know, Ross goes in uh, while Brian Manning gets it, and now he makes the pass out. They're looking. Tipped by Ross comes in from the other side. Cunningham will step to the free throw line. He hit 15 of 15 in a game earlier this year against George Washington. And it's this free throw. Uh, he's a nice looking player. Yes, I tell he you, is. you know, he's got a nice stroke. He, he seems to be patient. He plays with poise. He doesn't get too flustered out there. Uh, so he, he's got great potential. 15 point lead for Washington. 12.34 to go. Second half. Suggs and Ross. Overton, Gant, and Matthew Bryan Abbott. Ross is terminated. He's given a new tough. Pivots away from the much smaller starts. 
13 to shoot. Norwegian goes to work. Sweeping crossover right to left into the lane. Bounces inside the gap. Wriggles into the air. Had a block. Got it back. That's Ross. Missing. Tapped up and hit by Matthew Bryan Ammon. 20 points now. 10 boards for Matthew Bryan Ammon. Uh, Ammon is very alert tonight. Uh, he, he is watching every play. He's helping out. He, he's uh, supporting his teammates. And, and he's getting some nice opportunities at the back. Just a monster game. 17 point lead. Nelson for three. Good looking jump shot. Welcome back to Seattle where the Huskies lead the Oregon State Beavers 64 50 with 11 30 left here in the second half along with Lenny Wilkins Kevin Calabro. Washington will get it in bounds they are led here this evening by Matthew Brian Ammoning. Over to the shot though. tipped up Kevin McShane will control it. NBA for Washington 20 points 10 rebounds. And here in the second half. Huskies have put the clamp down on Oregon State. 24 to 11. They've outscored. Roberto Nelson to the glass. Wow. Now make that to Terrence Ross getting a piece inside. Fouls on Ross. 16 foul on Washington. And Nelson will step to the line. Roberto Nelson, Santa Barbara, California. Free throw up and in. FSN's coverage of the Western Hockey League returns next Friday with the Everett Silver Tips in action against the Thunderbirds of Seattle. And don't miss the WHL's inaugural outdoor game. And Spokane host Kootenay in the Rockstar Outdoor Hockey Classic. Both matchups right here on FSN and FSN HD. To Suggs, catch and shoot three up and in, and he has quietly put together another nice game. Nine points for Suggs, three of four from beyond the arc, Lenny. He was three of five Thursday with 13 against the Oregon beef the uh, Oregon Ducks. Yeah, he, he you know he, he plays within himself, Kevin. He doesn't try to overdo it. Uh, he he makes sure that he's wide open and his teammate is open. He gives him the ball, but he's patient. And, and, and good things happen. Look at here. Move to the baseline. Tough pass along the baseline. That's always a very difficult pass. Nelson has Starks ahead of him into the lane. And drew the bump from Darnell Gant. Starks will shoot two. Beavers down 16. Oregon State for the second consecutive year swept the Arizona schools previous to that. They hadn't done it since 83. Beat Arizona State, and then last Sunday night they defeated Arizona. This has been an up and down Oregon State team. They they lost to Seattle University uh, here in Seattle. They lost at Colorado. Colorado not a bad ball club, and then lost at Montana. Of course, Montana won at UCLA. They lost a home game against Utah Valley. It's been a mixed bag for. Greg Robinson's Beavers trying to find some sort of consistency. Starks will step out, and Cunningham will step in. Well, that's what I think they're trying to find themselves, you know, right now. And, uh, you know, the route for them, you know, they were off to a two and one start in uh, Pac 10 play uh, for just a second time. But, uh, you know, again, they're up and down, up and down, trying to find the right combinations. And, and I think eventually they will. This was a team last year that would bog you down, try to play a very controlled, low scoring type game. And Craig Robertson said he was just adjusting his system to meet the level of the talent. And his feeling was that this year he could open it up much more than they did last year. They continue to play the 1 3 1. They're averaging 74 points a game this year, they average a 61 a game. Last year, Washington here this afternoon has really come out and shut down the Beavers in the second half. It was 40 39 Washington on a 12 2 run to end the first half. Well, you know, the Beavers, uh, you know, and, and a part of the, the zone defense is that play. It really helps them. Plus, they, they lead the nation in steals. Yep. But, 
you got to score. You got to put the ball in the basket, and you got to stop people. And if you don't, and when you run against a good team like the Huskies, you have to show real good patience, and you cannot let them run away from you. Here's Enjai to the line. Deflected out of bounds last touch by Oregon State. Well, Manning's getting, uh, Brian Manning is getting a real good deserved rest. When you look at his line, boy, I'm nine for 11, two for three from the foul line, 10 rebounds, you know, 20 points. This guy's had a heck of a game. The whole gymnasium out of that one because everyone thought he was going over to the corner and he dropped it right on Enjai. How about the feed from Overton? That was just outstanding. Gant will come out, in will come Thomas. So they exchange a big for a point, another point guard. Uh, great pass by the North. Holiday with a block takes it away from Starks. Here they come. Holiday has the floor, lost the handle. Shane to Nelson to the glass. What happened there? Well, he tried to get a little too fancy. He saw Isaiah coming on the side of him. And Shane keeps it alive. Jabs it out of Washington basketball. Washington is at eight blocks here this afternoon, which is a season high for them. Washington leading by 16 with 9.14 to go. to come here on FSN tonight a lot of college basketball Thomas into the lane to Aziz Enjai back it up and a freshman seven feet 260 finding his way along the glass Holiday had McShane fall on his right foot Justin he is helped up by his teammates There, the big guy has kind of got his ankle right up on top of his ankle. He's lucky he didn't get a real bad strain out of that. You do about 18 big ones. 837 to go in this game inside Cunningham. Jared Cunningham. Angus Brand. That's McShane wrestling away the rebound to Brant for three. Shane after it again keeps it alive to Calvin Haynes. Tried to pitch it low to Cunningham. Flipped out of bounds by Washington. Uh, you got to love the Huskies' uh, intensity on defense. They have continued to keep that kind of defensive pressure that they need out there. No matter what the score is, they're still playing real hard. in the first half for the game they are 8 of 14. Sucks the other way. Trying to look at three. That's the best look he's had tonight. Very few. Not that uh, rebound here to Oregon State. Breaking down the floor. Starks had it dragged away by Overton. The two of them spin each other around and half, up halfway through. Up halfway up the court. Goes out of bounds. And for an instant, it looked like Washington was going to get it back. Well, the Oregon State ball after the timeout was 7.38 to play here in Seattle. Husky 71, Beavers 56. College Hoops on FSN is brought to you tonight by Northern Quest Casino, Spokane's newest destination resort, and by Jack in the Box. Right now, get the jumbo deal of Jumbo Jack, two tacos, fries, and a drink for only $3.99 plus tax.
Welcome back. A glorious winter day here in Seattle, Washington, where the Seahawks take care of business in uh, the first round of the playoffs today. Congratulations to the Seahawks as they defeat the New Orleans Saints. And here indoors, hereby, at Heck Edmondson in Seattle, Vinoy Overton and the Washington Huskies taking care of business, leading Oregon State 71 56. Washington came in. To tonight's play 11 and 3 3 and 0 in conference Calvin Haynes nice in the lane contact made and a foul and Haynes will shoot two. you know speaking about Calvin Haynes I watched him last year and it seemed to me he was much more aggressive offensively today it's, it's, it's kind of a quiet afternoon yeah. for him. it's yeah. like uh, he's almost not involved at times he averages 11 a game for Oregon State. One of three seniors on the ball club, Haynes. And this man checking in, Amari Johnson. And Lincoln Wallace, all seniors. They have seen the worst of times, the worst of times, <laughs> and the worst of times. <laughs> the worst of times. It's gotten gradually better. Uh, Craig Robinson down his third year. In his first year, they won 18 ball games. Last year they were winners of 14. Well, eight and ten in conference, so three by one win in conference. Seven and eleven in the first year. Here's Thomas into the lane. Rebound inside, Darnell again. Just working in the paint to lay it up and in. Washington now has garnered a number off the glass in their offensive end. Points in the paint now, tilted back toward Washington. Laid out, rebound to Oregon State, 34 Cunningham fouled as when I Overton came over to get his elbow. Pac-10 standings. This would be big for Washington to complete the task here to go four and zero. Oh. Stanford two and zero. Oh, Arizona two and one. Arizona's loss was to Oregon State in Corvallis. And of course, with Washington sweeping UCLA, USC as they did on the road. Very, very big start. Back to season for the Washington Huskies. You were picked uh, Lenny number one in those preseason polls by all the Pac-10 basketball writers. Finished number one. Of course, they lost to Abdul Gaddy. The word coming down last Tuesday that he was out with a torn AC out of the left D. And that meant the uh, reshuffling of the deck. Roy Overton getting the start on Thursday and again here this afternoon with Isaiah Thomas. Been much smoother tonight. Oh yeah, been real smooth tonight. Other guys are stepping up. You know, uh, Matthew Manning, uh, Matthew uh, is all of a sudden playing really well. He stepped up real big. Other guys have stepped up big. You know, Suggs has stepped up big. Uh, Ross stepped up big. And Benoit, Benoit's playing really well. He's had a steady game and has been a steady influence. So. This team has depth, and yes, you always miss a player like uh, Abdul Gadi because he's such a, a poised player. But the Huskies have depth; they've stepped up, and they're doing a great job. Number three, I'm on the Mentioned Matthew Brian Abney, 20 points, 12 rebounds for the big man. Oh, he's been outstanding. Eight blocks for the Huskies. Oh, as a team. NBA missing the free throw. Angus Brandt with a rebound. 13 point Washington lead. Six and a half minutes to go in the ballgame. Washington trying to close the deal. And there's Robertson reaching in, picking the pocket of Cunningham. And Cunningham getting it back from behind, jamming it out of bounds. Washington ball. Uh, I tell you, that's just great quick hands by Vinoy right there. He's up there. He anticipates. He reaches. He gets out. And he really gets it out on the break. And uh, th this is a great, great team. Their defense is really improved. The ball was brought in, a dead ball foul with 628 left on Angus Brandt. And so a couple of free throws that will be awarded to Darnell Gant here in a moment. Timeout called on the floor with 628 remaining 7360. Washington leading big right now. Their schedule ahead up on the 13th. They are 
at Stanford, then at Cal. Cal today a winner over Arizona State. And then a home game against Derek Williams, Sean Miller's Arizona State Wildcats. On the 22nd, it's Arizona State, and then a game that a lot of folks are penciling on their calendar at Washington State to meet the Cougars. Later tonight, here on FSN, beginning at 7.30, they'll be at home and they'll meet the Oregon Ducks. Well, the game at Stanford's going to be a tough game, too, especially if they can stay undefeated. You know, all of a sudden, you're going to have the guys at the top of the Pac-10 yeah. really going at it. So that could be a huge game. Darnell Gant at the line. Fifteen point Washington lead, six twenty eight remaining. Take a look at our Volkswagen game summary. Well, Washington shooting lights out at fifty percent. Oregon State being held at thirty seven percent. So a combination of hot Washington shooting and terrific defense, particularly here in the second half. Nelson steps back and knocks down the jump shot. Over to will set up now for Washington. CJ Wilcox in the lineup. His stats confession that it bothered him over the last couple of games, literally in his four minutes. He saw some time in the first half, now he's back in. Thomas for the Isaiah. He's just been sharp again today. Four of nine from three for Isaiah Thomas. 17.6 assists. Now that 2 1 2 zone doesn't have any answer for Isaiah Thomas. Not when you let him stand at the top of the circle, because that's one of his favorite areas to shoot from. There's our Volkswagen summary. Cunningham, 20 points for Oregon State. Matthew Bryan Amening, 20 and 12. And the Washington Huskies go on a 22 to 3 run to open up the second half. Their defense was just stifling. Overton up the floor. That's what great ball movement does. Not good ball movement, but great ball movement. And look at the block by Brian O'Manning. I mean, that's incredible. He gets back on D, makes that kind of block, and then they go down the other end and get away. He's loving it. <laughs> 94 feet, the bucket, and then the block on Joe Burton for a recovery. And that deserves a standing ovation. And they will get it from the Husky faithful. Cunningham in the lane. Spike by Gant. Tipped off to of Oregon State. Out of bounds. Washington's defense now is just becoming a bulldozer. 450 left in the ballgame. And Craig Robinson needs a timeout. Ten blocks for Washington. A 20-point dog lead. We take a look at this. Uh, give kudos to uh, Matthew Amen. Brian the man, look at this, he comes all the way back. Well, that's Gant getting. Matthew got the first one, yeah. Gant gets the second one. That's after Matthew Ryan Amonick scored. He came back, blocked the shot. The Huskies got it back, and then Gant scored. And then when they came back down the floor, it was Gant who spikes it out of bounds as he goes 94 feet and turns in a terrific play. So you've got Aziz Enjai, Matthew Brian Amonick. Darnell Gant, your bigs, with this kind of quickness up and down the floor. Uh, that was a great pass again by Isaiah Thomas. And now you see, there goes Brian Manning back, and he catches him, and he makes a great block. Uh, that, that's incredible. And, and right now, uh, Coach Robinson had to call timeout because they're starting to unravel. CJ Wilcox with a test. You got the red shirt freshman Wilcox on the floor with Terrence Ross, Darnell Gant, Matthew Bryan Anthony, and Isaiah Thomas. 424 left. Coming up here, we put an elbow right into Wilcox. Running into the lane. Foul's going to be called on Wilcox. Up on the hustle board, 10 blocks for Washington and seven steals. 16 offensive rebounds. 
Looked like Cunningham driving into the lane. Got his off arm up and into the chest, a high chest up on the sternum of Wilcox. But they call the foul on Wilcox nonetheless, and Cunningham will shoot two. The off arm. And Cunningham at the line splits a pair. MBA with a rebound. Twenty-two and thirteen for MBA here this evening. And scoops. English been into the air. Had a block out of that. easy for him right now. Uh, everything is going his way. I tell you, and he's, he's staying at it. He's relentless as well. Drawn into that pump fake by Roberto Nelson, and the foul stops the clock. 3.53 left in this one. It's all Washington, 86 63. Well, here in the second half in Seattle, Washington, at Heck Evans Pavilion, it has been all MBA getting his PhD. 24 points, 15 rebounds for Matthew Bryan Amity. His 15 boards a season high. His fifth double double of the year. Senior coming on, playing with a real zeal. 11 of 14 from the field for this young man. I, mean, I don't think anything's been beyond 10 feet. No, he, he, he's been real smart about how he's played all game long. And, and you know, with all that he was doing, he only turned the ball over twice. Uh, that, that's pretty good, you know, because when you're feeling good, all of a sudden you might want to do more things. And he stayed within himself when it was for his time for him to pass the ball out. He passed it, he, he swung it, he helped his teammates. He just had a heck of a game. Washington trying to extend their Pac-10 winning streak to 11 games. Carried over from last year when they made that just terrific run toward the end of the regular season. And then, of course, into the tournament, Pac-10 tournament. And then on to the Sweet 16. They're hopeful that they can push past that level this year. They've got an awfully deep team. Thomas found by Starks in backcourt. And this will put Isaiah Thomas to the line. 17 points, eight assists for Thomas. Lenny, he was outstanding Thursday against Oregon, just doing it all. Uh, you know, he's been real consistent. He, he's been just a pleasure to watch grow this season. When you saw him a year ago and, mm -hmm. you, and you knew that he was had that kind of potential, and then all of a sudden this year steps up. He's making the play. He's getting his teammates off first. Uh, he's done the show for Lorenzo. So he has done it all. And at the same time, he understands that, yeah, I have to stay involved in the game as well. So I think he's done a marvelous job. And a breakaway dunk against Oregon. <laughs> I never had oh, one of those. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no. <I don't> <laughs> when I was in high school, our coach wouldn't let us dunk the ball. <laughs> Thomas comes out, he'll get a curtain call. A young man with 19 points and 8 assists. 3.42 left. Roberto Nelson navigates into the lane. Off glass, look out. Cunningham comes down hard, but pops up. Ross bringing it across midcourt. Cunningham knocked it down and out of bounds. Washington basketball. 3.29 left in this one. And Matthew Bryan Amity will step out. 24 points, 15 rebounds. And Brendan Scherer, the junior from Monroe, Washington, to step in. Use the Husky barometer when you see him come out onto the court, it means the party is over. Suggs hits the three point shot. Or maybe the party is about to begin. I, I, I it think, means a Husky <laughs> win as well. Yeah, I think the party is about to begin. And what you're going to see with Oregon now, they're going to try to do things they really can't do or shouldn't do. Nelson puts it up to try to keep it alive. Suggs with a rebound. 2.51 left. Oh, look out. Yeah, that's the kind of freak play you just don't want to see at the end of this game that clearly is going to Washington again. Mm -hmm. uh, off of a, another player's body and took a tough fall, bracing himself with his hand. He's all right. 
That's a reactive situation with players. You know, the game is right at the end. And the other team is trying to make something desperate happen. And then, of course, you have to stay patient right there. <laughs> he makes a nice move to the basket. Here again, nice little interception. The game is getting ragged right now. Ross, eight points and seven rebounds. 218 remaining in this one. 93-68. We were talking earlier tonight about opposing coaches as they approach Washington with Terrence Ross getting the 25 on Thursday as he did against Oregon. He can expect now for coaches to game plan to an extent to try to take him out of the mix a little bit. Before he was, uh, he really wasn't on the radar, although he did have 18 points, I believe it was against UCLA. Yeah, he, he's going to be on the radar from now on. He's going to be in the scouting report, so they're going to pay attention when he comes in the game. He's not going to get anything easy. If the other players are playing really good, like happened tonight, then all of a sudden you're going to see him pop up here and there, get a nice opportunity to score. Watch well, averaging nearly 17 points in the three previous Pac-10 games. Can't just come out. Gunner again is out. Tyler Ross will stay on the court. Antoine Hosley, freshman out of Jefferson High School, in Portland, Oregon. Three teamed with Terrence Ross and Terrence Jones of Kentucky. Starts triggering the three. Well, it, right now, Oregon is going three happy. They, they're just looking for too many outside shots. That's not going to get you back. Ross running the baseline, ripped away from behind by Collier. He was out of bounds. A minute 52 left. 95 68, Washington. Big time defensive effort by Washington in the second half. They led halfway through 40 39. Ross for three. God, man, that's the kind of fluid, silky shot we saw Thursday here against the Ducks. Yeah, and you want to keep him out on the floor right now with these guys because he's the one guy that if you leave him wide open, you know he's going to knock down the two points. Huskies up 30 with a minute 26 left. Brad has it picked from behind by Wilcox. CJ to the ball. And the Huskies are at the century mark. Well, that's something they've been wanting to do. They, I think they did it four times already this year. Now here you get another, another opportunity to get to the century mark. That turns the fans on. <laughs> sure does. McShane with a follow. Team co-captain Kevin McShane. Oregon State, meantime, can hold the distinction of being the first Pac-10 team this year to score 70 against Washington. However, they're getting beat by 32 as well. Centers of three right on. 14 points, seven boards for Terrence Ross. 33-point bulge, 36 seconds left. Stand by, more basketball and FSN coming. Gonzaga and Portland. And Washington State taking on the Oregon Ducks. This was a must weekend for Oregon State as well. Big game tonight for them. They obviously run a long extended trip from Hawaii to Southern California. A loss to the Southern California schools. Washington started with wins over UCLA, USC, and now are going to sweep the Oregon schools here at home with the 103-72 conquest here today of the Oregon State Beavers. Well, I think the fans like the 100 points because they're on their feet for the Huskies tonight. Plenty five players in double figures led by the 24, Matthew Ryan Hamlin, 24 points, 15 rebounds for NBA Ross off the bench with a 14 and 7 effort. Isaiah Thomas leading them at point with 19 points and eight assists. He had four of nine from three. And Washington is a team. Their 11th straight Pac-10 win, the longest UW league win streak since 53-54. When they were in the old PCC. Final score here in Seattle tonight. Washington 103 and Oregon State 72.